Hi guys, welcome back to It's Dan K. This is the Sydney Cycling Club points race. Uh, whoa, every man and woman for themselves. It was pretty easy, to be honest. 30 minutes in, no one had really done anything and everyone was fresh. So I decided to go for a bit of a gallop off the front. And it's a 40 minute race, right? So I'm thinking 40 minutes plus two laps, about 15 minutes. I reckon I could hold a decent amount of power between now and the finish. Let's see if I can get away. Let's see if they will let me get away. To be honest, this was my first match uh, that I had burnt all race. Um, I'd been staying at the back. I actually felt pretty terrible. I'd been riding uh, fairly hard for the well, pretty much the last five days. I thought this particular race that I'm in was supposed to be on Thursday. And so... I was going to use Wednesday, which is the, the day of this race, as a, uh, a rest day. But um, yeah, I didn't. I, I ended up racing. So I've smashed it, gone on the straight, blown the race apart. Everyone's strung out everywhere. It's a bit of sort of mayhem. And there are counterattacks, which you'd expect, which is great because um, it's been fairly placid between the 0 and 30 minute mark. Uh, so this is really race on, game on for, for you know, the first time. Um, people are obviously quite fresh. Uh, we've got this sort of group of four or five of us together at the front. And um, I'm yelling, you know, let's work, let's do this, let's get it, let's get it done. Um, so we start rolling turns and we're holding a decent enough pace uh, to string things out, keep people chasing back on from chasing on easily I guess um, but again everyone's too fresh there hadn't been enough attacks or no attacks between the 0 and 30 minute mark and uh, and people just had everything they had so many matches um, so you've literally got another 7 minutes before it's 2 laps to go um, so I was like well may as well use a few matches um, try to make it hard make it difficult we're going into a headwind slight uphill as well and uh and yeah keeping things hard keeping the pace high so i can see everything is back together now i'm sort of looking behind me and uh, i make the decision to um, pedal easy and just see what's going to happen um fair enough sarah goes off the front and if you are the person that's sort of done quite a lot of work at the front and um, there's this unwritten rule that if you if you're working on the front and you've you've done your hard yards, if something goes off the front, it's not really up to you to chase it down. So I've let that wheel go. I'm more than happy to see Sarah uh, right away into the distance. Um, but Jess, which on any other day would be helping Sarah out as her teammate, um, she's gone after her. So I've hopped on. It's uh, it's a sort of a crosswind from left to right. So Jess really should be on the right-hand side of the road, making sure that it's super hard for anyone to follow behind. Um, same with Sarah. Sarah should be on the far right, just putting people in the gutter right now. Um, but I've been able to get the draft as I pass her and use that momentum to attack again and just see, you know, what's everyone's appetite? Are they tired? Are they willing to chase me down? And unfortunately, the answer to that was everyone wants to chase me down. So I've let that, the group sort of pass me. I'm happy to sit on the back, let things go, and just watch the race from the rear, save as much energy as possible, and uh, prepare for the finish, which is, you know, here we go. This is it. So um, 10 minutes later, we've done our two laps. This is uh, last lap, and... This is where it, this is the business end, you know. As a sprinter, you sort of sit back and you you live for these moments where you know the first forty minutes of the race is just a waste of time, and you sort of uh, <laughs> this is it. This is your thing, right? This is where you're most alive. So I'm on um, Lawson's wheel. He's a sprinter, and uh, he's a good wheel to be on for a sprint. Big guy, in a, in a good way, uh, but big guy, good draft. Uh, perfect with a hang off and inexplicably I do not fight for his wheel this is a massive massive mistake and you'll see why in a second so 
Um, Sarah takes his wheel, there's another rider there, and suddenly I'm on the back foot, there's an attack going off the front, and watch how much energy I have to expend to get past these two riders and get onto Lawson's wheel. So this is almost like a sprint now, a sprint for me to get in um, and and get back onto, onto terms here. This is definitely, I'm leaving this a bit late. This is pretty much the exact mistake I made last race. Um, and Lawson's gone for a very early attack, right? Um, and I should have gone on the right-hand side of Lawson here where there's a good draft. Inexplicably, I choose the left-hand side of the road and across the line. So here's where it gets a bit weird. So we'll go through that again. Um, I really should have gone on the right. There was still room um, and it wasn't, you know, Lawson wasn't putting anyone in the gutter there. I could have, I should have or could have squeezed past. Um, but yeah, it came down to very fine margins. So fine, in fact, we had no idea who won. Um, by the slow motion camera, it was pretty much dead rubber. We finalized this race as a scissors, paper, rock, uh, which I won. So officially, I won this race. Uh, my first race I've won via scissors, paper, rock, which is good fun. Um, I enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully I've got a few more weeks of racing in me. I'll see you guys next time.